She'll smack that one to short, and even with the dive, no dice there. The play at home is going to be late. So it is almost equal to a double. Including 2019 as a bunt laid down, but not there. And they try to make the tag at the plate. It's not there. So I believe I just saw him signal it is a 3-2. Hit over to the second base side, just over the glove. <laughs> As the coach getting literally in Martinez's way, saying, stop, 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 to La Rosa. This will be cranked to right field, and off the glove, another run will come across. Donald settles back in on a 1-2. From the circle, this will be smashed out to center right field, and that will leave the park. Two La Rosa fans absolutely ecstatic as they cut the lead in half with a two-run shot by Layla Gaston, and she goes dead center field. The wind blowing out that direction. Good job by Gaston to take it instead of two. Gaston cranks this into the wind and into the bleachers. Three runs will come across and all of a sudden the Wildcats are now in the lead. It is going to be five, or pardon me, six to four. As that one sent long. The players made the right choice. Infield flies in a strikeout. This to third. Gonzalez with the throw, the tag laid down by Macy Griffin, and that is the ball game. Eight to four, the Tularosa Wildcats win this game. And they were down for a long, long stretch. The Falcons open up the game with a four run first, and Tularosa put two up in the second, but they were sitting down all the way until the sixth inning when the bats came alive.